The future of drone journalism is virtually unbounded, I would say, because in the history of journalism, we've sort of been tied to the things that we see, the things that we can capture by holding cameras, putting cameras on a, on a stick or climbing things, and suddenly there's this new dimension that we're allowed to explore uh, in terms of perspective and access. Not only that, but at the same time, autonomy in cameras is starting to sort of rise as well in robotics and aerial robotics. And so, you know, instead of having people involved in capture, you know, which I think will always be a part of it, but now we'll be allowed to extend our will beyond, you know, actually pushing a button and having things be captured for us from any perspective. Consumer drones um, are sort of, you know, what DJI has been doing for a long time and we're moving into different industries but as soon as drones became possible conservation drones kind of you know grew up, grew up at the same time you know so there's a whole movement around using drones and conservation for probably a lot of the same reasons that journalism and drones go well together you know the the ability to see things that were hidden you know a lot of conservation is about revealing the things that people are hiding uh, that are that they shouldn't be doing or are illegal you know so I think drones you know just just very basically can provide access you know to revealing these sort of hidden things that should be I would say currently the hardest thing um, is still operation of the drone you know so we are moving very very quickly and every generation gets easier and easier um, but there's still a lot of manual piloting and we're seeing a lot of attempts to remove more and more of manual piloting but fundamentally safety is still tied to manual piloting you know so a lot of the autonomy we're seeing now is dumb autonomy you know you can ask it to do something and it will do it into a wall so that's still very difficult. So I think you know we're going to see technology moving to make drones safer and safer. It'll be harder and harder to do things that that you didn't intend to do. Um, and at the same time, I think people do need to be operating them frequently. I mean, if you pick up a camera, it's the same thing. You can't just start using it and expect great results. You know, you need to wait until everything is under your fingertips. And the same thing right now applies to drones. And I think will be for quite some time. You know, even if autonomy sort of becomes standard.